Well, good Saturday morning to all of you today. I am actually heading out to Gardner, Kansas to go visit a little primitive country store. It's about a 40 minute drive, they say. So um, we're gonna head out there, me and my grandson, and we're gonna go venture out and see what else is there. There's supposed to be a little consignment store there called Joy. Uh, it's Strip Shop Consignment Store. I'm going to go check that out and I'm bringing you along today. Hopefully I can film in the store. Cannot wait to get there. Cannot wait to show you what I found. Um, did do a yard sale this morning at a little uh, farm. They had a beautiful milk barn. However, the sale was in the garage, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I was hoping for more um, vintage items, but I did find a few goodies and some treasures. So off to treasure hunting and an adventure to Gardner, Kansas. Come on along. Here we go. So we made it to this old time decor store. I will go inside and take pictures with my camera. Hopefully I will be able to post them, but I don't think she'll allow me to film with this big camera. So let's see where we find the treasures inside. It says open. I took tons of pictures for you guys. That little store is a little primitive country store. Absolutely beautiful. Then there was a church consignment trish store um we picked up some things from there pretty good prices so now we're heading out to find a couple of yard sales and then we will see i hope that you enjoy watching the pictures and i hope that i can unload it on my uh, computer so keep watching so hi we are at Lake Oleta. It's a really windy day and it's a little chilly but uh, my grandson and I, Joel, had a picnic next to the water and we hit a couple of yard sales so I cannot wait to show you everything I purchased today and what I found. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can kind of see the lake we are at. It's absolutely beautiful and um, maybe if we find uh, different things to do we're probably going to do a little geocache and see what we can treasures we can find today. So I'm turning this around. There's that beautiful lake. Look at that. Gorgeous. We actually sat on the dock over here. I don't know if you can see behind the trash bin. We had a nice little lunch. Just a nice park. But a little cold and a little windy today. So stay tuned for our next adventure. Well, hi everyone and welcome back. Today was an adventure day for me. Um, venturing out to Gardner, Kansas, to the old time decor store. Um, I will link the pictures next after this little intro and I'll show you what I purchased at this store. Um, a cute little town to go to. I had been there a few years back with a project I was doing for the school and <coughs> excuse me and um, beautiful primitive country store. Um, I cannot wait for her to change it to or whoever wants the store to change it to the holiday. Um, as you know, I am a thrifty shopper. I'm sorry. <coughs> I am a thrifty shopper. <coughs> but um, I did purchase $60 worth of merchandise there today. Yikes. But it is beautiful items, beautiful things. And when I compare it to about maybe shopping at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I'm seeing about the same kind of prices. This is, to me is just a little bit, maybe a little bit better made. I don't know. I just like them. So. Um, these little candles rings, I got it a little froggy, were $4.99. Um, I did purchase three of them. <clears throat> what I did is I purchased these little um, candle holders. They're a star pattern. They're very primitive looking. Um, you put your 
metal candle hold uh, candle holder at the bottom and then what I well, how she had it which I really like and hopefully in the camera you'll be able to see is they pull all of these up like this so when you have your candle in the center it kind of like looks like it's growing around your candle and then the candle goes into the little candle holder and it just goes up so I bought three of them two with the stars and then the other one is for this little candle plug-in uh, light. Um, I think it's really cute. It was $9.99. Again, more than I, what I would usually pay. But I was there and I loved the look and I wanted to use it in my house. So I went ahead and purchased it today. <clears throat> it's like a little treat to myself. And um, purchased some melted wax. It is, I don't have my glasses. It was $3.99. I love the smell of this. And it says something keeper of the night or something like that. So super cute. <clears throat> and the next item was this hanging. <clears throat> you can hang something from these two hooks right here. They do sell all the things there. However, I just wanted the outlook of this. It hangs on the wall to screw up the top and the at the top here. And then you just hang your metal sign or whatever sign you want to make. I will be making my own. This was $19.99 and it has a metal finial at the end right here. So super cute stuff at the store. It's all wrapped up. You get a nice shopping bag. Um, I did go to my Dollar Tree to see if I can find those candles, which I'm hoping to do a DIY with um, to put into these um, battery operating candles, of course. So I cannot wait to see if I'll find those to be able to show you what I did do with these projects right here. Put everything back in the bag. I think this is super cute and it is a plug-in. So next thing I wanted to go to do there that I had mapped out today was also go to this little thrift shop consignment store, I guess, called Joy. Um, it was an old garage converted into a little shop and it is... Um, she told me what it would be. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, taken care of by a church in that little gardener, so in that little town. So I forgot how much I spent there, but everything was super cheap and super inexpensive. The first thing I bought was this glass ceramic. It was two dollars. It's from Hobby Lobby and it's a candle holder. Again, how cute would this be with this little candle? ring on top of this and that little electrical um, candle on top. I think that would just add height to it and really look super cute. The next item I bought was this plug-in light, but I do believe it is a wax melt. I think the wax melt is actually here and I think it's stuck. So I gotta find a way to see if I can open that. The reason why is I see wax drip down this little um, lantern and I kind of want to check it out and the light bulb is burned out but it was $2.50 so super cute put a nice bow on this or even if it's a, a wax burner perfect for me uh, the next two items that I did get there were these uh, 75 cents a piece they were $5.99 at, at home and they're just like little bird hangers I don't know what I'm going to do with them if I'm going to repaint them I kind of love this color um, so I just went ahead and picked it up. Um, so, not bad for seventy-five cents a piece when they were five ninety-nine at home, at the at-home store. Uh, my grandson was with me. Of course, we had to pick up this little farm game. It's like the hippo, hippo, hungry hippo. Uh, we picked this up today because it looks like fun, and we want to try it out. So, for three dollars, that's not a bad deal either in a bag and I kind of had opened this already so I'm gonna have to scoot that way in a minute um they had books there they are 25 cents a piece um we love the books no David and then there's a couple of more books that we had for a quarter a piece um I love kids book I love when they're colorful like this and I love to share them with others so purchase those and then in a bag they had a bunch of this little porcelain ceramic these I don't know if you remember home interiors but this was I 
keep dropping stuff. Okay, we'll do two at a time. We have mommy and daddy, but daddy has a little chip on his foot, which is not a big deal. And then we have the two, the little ghost and the little girl dress up for Halloween. I just thought, okay, it comes in the same bag for two dollars. I just grab, grab the bag. Um, also in there, there was this uh, cute little ceramic pumpkin. Um, this looks really vintage to me, so I thought, how cute! I picked that up, which was in the bag. I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna get all these. Um, this cute little ghost. This this one is a set of three of them. Ooh, cute. This one looks super vintage to me, this little um, pumpkin. And then I'm going to put them in my finger. <laughs> These two pumpkin, along with this little pumpkin, that was all in the same bag for $2. Um, I'm just going to display them on shelves and do whatever. Okay, this little pumpkin with the little ghost sitting on top. Look at that little tush trying to get up there. And this set of three pumpkins. They're all like a ceramic. And this little witch cauldron. I thought that was kind of cool. I have this little witch right here. And I, I'm hoping it will just stay on her arm and she doesn't fall over. Oh, will she stay? I'll show you. See how I just added the cauldron to her arm right there? Oh well, it might work. Um, I'm going to reach over here. In the bag, they had this round tablecloth that actually matches my tablecloth on my dining room right now. So it was a round one. I picked it up. I'm going to wash it and set it on my table. I just love the colors. This screams, hello, fall. And... I want to think there was more but maybe not and then there was this little wooden black box this is just that um, oh, it's just taped on so I'm just gonna pull these letter off and I'm just gonna keep this black it just ple peels right off I'm gonna peel it off and I'm just gonna put a nice country ribbon on here to decorate or it can be flipped over and used as a little shelf on a shelf or on a table or whatever to give height and to decorate with. So <clears throat> that was the adventure to the entire reason why we went to Gardner, Kansas today. If you are in the area, <clears throat> I really encourage you to go check this little place out. It's so worth the drive there to get inspired, to decorate. Um, <clears throat> they have a lot of items for a you know it's not a huge store but it is a store that it's different from everything else and I encourage you to go visit and say hi make sure you tell them bring it to life to, from Gail send you that you that you know that you saw it on my videos you don't get a discount but you get to say hi from me I cannot wait for her to do their Christmas one like I said prior and just go do some more shopping and get inspired to decorate my own home so I hope that you enjoy all of the um, pictures that I'm going to post of the store. Um, I wanted to bring my camera in, however there are, were other people there. It is a, like I said, a smaller st size store. So I just took some pictures to share with you today. I will link below the name of the store, the address, and their YouTube, um, not their YouTube, but their Facebook page so you can go visit them there. If they ship, if you buy online, I cannot say that they, they do, um, but that's something that you can always find out by checking them out. So enjoy the photos. And again, thank you for watching. I hope that you like this little adventure to garden near Kansas today, shopping at this new little store that I found. And I hope that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. That really encourages me to do more videos and to keep going. Uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of this nice comments and all of you out there that are watching me. Hi! I want to do all a shout out to all of you today for watching me. Please remember, I bring things home, I bring it with love, and I bring it to life. And with this channel, you never know what you're going to get. Have a great weekend. See you next time.